Hi everyone. Welcome to On Point. In this video we are going to discuss about prolactin test. So without any delay let's start the video. Prolactin test. A prolactin test measures the amount of prolactin in the blood. Prolactin, also known as lactotropin and PRL, is a hormone that is responsible for lactation, certain breast tissue development, and contributes to other bodily processes. Prolactin levels are normally low in people, assigned male at birth, and non-lactating, and non-pregnant people. They're normally elevated in people, who are pregnant, or breastfeeding. Most of your prolactin comes from your pituitary gland. It makes, and releases the hormone. Dopamine, a brain chemical, and estrogen, a hormone, control prolactin production, and release from your pituitary gland. Your central nervous system, immune system, uterus, and mammary glands, are also capable of producing prolactin. The following factors can contribute, to prolactin creation in these tissues. Nipple stimulation. Exercise. Stress. Causes. Prolactin levels normally rise during pregnancy, and breastfeeding. They may also rise slightly due to the following situations. Physical stress, such as experiencing pain. Exercise. Eating a meal. Sexual intercourse. Nipple stimulation unrelated to chest feeding. Injury to your chest area. Epileptic seizures. These increases in prolactin are usually slight and temporary. Normal levels. In general, the normal values for prolactin include. For people assigned male at birth, less than 20 nanograms per milliliter. For people assigned female at birth who are not pregnant or chest feeding, less than 25 nanograms per milliliter. For people who are pregnant, or chest feeding, 80 to 400 nanograms per milliliter. Signs and symptoms of high prolactin levels. For anyone, higher than normal prolactin levels in your blood, can cause the following symptoms. Infertility. Loss of interest in sex. Milky discharge from your nipples, when not pregnant or chest feeding, galacteria. For people assigned female at birth, symptoms of excess prolactin include. Changes in menstruation, not related to menopause, such as irregular periods, or no periods, amenorrhea. Pain or discomfort during penetrative sex, due to vaginal dryness. For people assigned male at birth, common symptoms of a prolactinoma include Erectile dysfunction, ED Low levels of testosterone Enlarged breast tissue, gynecomastia What causes abnormally high levels of prolactin? Several factors and conditions can cause higher than normal levels of prolactin in your blood, hyperprolactinemia, including Prolactinoma, a pituitary gland tumor, most common cause. Certain medications. Certain health conditions. Other pituitary gland tumors. Health conditions other than a prolactinoma, that may cause hyperprolactinemia include. Kidney disease. Hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid. Shingles, especially if the rash or blisters are on your chest. What causes abnormally low levels of prolactin? Your prolactin levels are usually low unless you're pregnant, or breastfeeding, so the only sign of having lower than normal levels of prolactin, is a lack of breast milk production after giving birth. That's all for now, for more updates please do like, share, and subscribe, see you in next video, thank you.